Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you the first actual episode of Star Wars Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. Um, I went ahead and did all the controls and key bindings and stuff um, that I was talking about in the last video. I did want to just show one thing. Uh, this game does have like an auto-aiming feature, which is kind of the same thing that the original Dark Forces had, but the original Dark Forces... You couldn't really use the mouse to aim, you had to use the keyboard, so the auto-aiming was kind of important to help you hit enemies that you couldn't actually get right in the middle of your screen because uh, you were aiming with the arrow keys. Uh, however, since I do have the use of the mouse in this game, to make things a little bit more interesting, we're going to turn auto-aiming off. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, I also I found the option for uh, subtitles in the cutscenes, which is why there were none in the first video. But I think we are good to go. And I also believe I have the volume of the music balanced properly, so we'll see how it goes. But here we go. Uh, new game. Narshada, the vertical city. You get this nice little uh, fly-in of Narshada here, which is uh, cool. In, in a sense, because if you remember in Jedi Outcast, there is a level, there's a series of levels that you play on Nar Shaddaa, but the first one actually opens with a very similar cutscene of like the camera flying through the Nar Shaddaa streets. So this is actually, that's kind of, that was a throwback to this cutscene here. very proud I am of you. What a fine young man you've become. I wish your mother were here to see it. But I know she watches over you and is proud. After she died, your welfare and upbringing were the only thing I truly cared about. Touching. When someone desires information, they come to me. And I remember this droid. Don't waste my time, idiot. Tell me who killed my father. Patience. He is a dark Jedi. Jedi? Dark Jedi. He is known as Jerek, and he has great plans for the rebirth of the Empire. I'm not interested in petty political struggles. Well, you should be. Without going into too much detail, Jerek has been quite generous in his offerings. Unfortunately, you don't factor into them. But I am not without a heart. Familiar, yes. I found it in your dead father's home. I can decipher any language or code known, but this one eludes me. It must be important. Tell me what it is, and these gentlemen won't have to indulge their darker side. The dark side? I've been there. Do you? I suppose that concludes our business. I'm not interested in leaving. I have some business to conclude with your friend, 88. All right. Oh, uh, wait. All right, so here we are in the actual game. Graphics are a huge step over, uh, step up from Dark Forces, but obviously they are nowhere near what Jedi Outcast had to offer. Um, so a couple things I do want to point out um, while we're just starting. I am running this game at a slightly, uh, it's not the highest resolution I can make it because the higher I make the resolution of the game, the smaller the little uh, UI things, like my ammo count here and the health counter on the opposite side, those get really, really tiny. So I think this is a good balance. I don't know if these are if they're still too small. I can lower the resolution um, so that you guys can see those a little bit more clearly. But uh, I think you would you would. My guess is that you would prefer me to play in a higher resolution. 
um, and not worry so much about those. But let me know in the comments what you think. Okay. So, here we are. Kyle Katarn. We could go first or third person. You can see very, very amazing details. Uh, graphics. Uh, we still have our fists, just like in Dark Forces. We could punch people if we run out of ammo. We have our blaster pistol. We have our blaster rifle. The uh, pistol, just like the first game, shoots slower, but is more accurate. So we'll use this to hit any uh, targets that are too far away for us to hit with a blaster rifle. But, uh, yeah. Alright. Can we do objectives? Oh, we still have our overhead map. How do we do... Ah, uh, we would have to go here. Objectives. Find 8T88 before he escapes with your father's data disk. Data disk. And six secrets. Alright. I don't I uh, like I remember very 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 little of the, of this game. So, uh don't expect us to find very many secrets or anything like that. This is very risky. That looks like I would put a secret up here. Wow, that's not a secret. That should totally be a secret. Oh, this is a secret. Nice. This is the secret that keeps on giving, apparently. Where are we going? Look at this stuff. Those infrared goggles? Oh my goodness. That's how you get up here. I don't think I've ever gotten up here before. Wow. <laughs> Less than five minutes into this game and I've already found a secret that I don't think I've ever, ever found before. Let's see if we can keep up that pattern. The uh, mouse sensitivity is a little bit higher than I would like it. And uh, unfortunately, I've already lowered it as low as, I as it will go in the options. So if it uh, if it appears a bit twitchy, I apologize for that. I'm just I have to get used to the uh, sensitivity. That's not a secret. Okay, anything down here? No, let's not go down there. This game does continue the. Uh, I don't know how I should how I should put it. It does have pretty interesting puzzles and, and level solving uh, level design that the game has become pretty well known for, like the game series or whatever. So while this level may not be too crazy as far as puzzle solving, oh no, that's a civilian. Basically, what I'm trying to say is we're going to get to a point where we have to do some pretty cool stuff to progress through the level. Ooh, that was good. T good jump. Good jump. Man, this game brings back so many memories. any secrets. Well, it doesn't look like it. Thank <laughs> you. 
we have to jump down here. Ooh, that hurt just a little bit. We got our shield, some shields there. Yeah, that was a secret area. Okay. Nice health. Good. Alright. this. Okay, that brings that lift down. I want to go down here first, though. This game is very twitchy. So back the tank. Alright, so just like Jedi Outcast, this game has an item system, or like an inventory. So we have our headlamp, we have back to tanks, which uh, heal us, and we have our android goggles that we picked up. Alright, switch. Gotta wait for the lift now. And away we go. What is that? What is that? This has to be a secret. Yep. Tell me we have to wait for that lift to come back down. Now, of course we do. Oh, goodness. Alright. Come on. goodness I just realized what that is I always just thought that was like a huge building in the distance but that's actually a cargo freighter from the X-Wing TIE Fighter games look you got the the one like cargo thing on one side one on the other side and that's the part in the middle that connects them yo I am learning so much about this game like the fact that there's a platform down there What is this? What kind of secret nightclub is going on down here that I wasn't invited to? That looks like that would be a door, but it's not. How cool is that? Okay, so yeah, switch here probably brings the lift down. Yep. We're gonna have to get off here too. Right. I guess I didn't have to get off there. You can sprint in this game also, which you might have seen me doing right there. This game just has a really weird momentum system where if you're, like, when you're sprinting or moving at all um, and you try to change directions, your character continues to move in the direction that you were moving for a little bit before switching directions. So, just have to be careful with that. Where'd that dude go? Anyways. This is where that auto-aim might help. Clearly he's using it. Alright, well, I'm sure we'll get up there eventually. There's people down there. 
potion! Little bastard. Whoa! People dropping out of the ceiling? What does this do? I don't know, but I'm gonna hit it. I don't wanna go down there. Yet. They don't call it the vertical city for nothing. That's it, there's nothing else down here. What a waste. like everything here let's try to go we have to drop down here shields are down to 110 that's not bad there's health back there but our health is at 100 so we're fine So, which way do we go? Oh, this is how you get up here. Okay. Dude, we are massacring these guys. I feel bad, almost. Secret area. What is that? A smuggler backpack. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, don't fall. Okay. Tie bomber. That was kind of cool. Just take me up there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we're at full full health, full shields. Just the way I like it. to remember this I think we have to get beneath this oh yeah I do remember this all right this is a timed thing like we have to we have to run here so we're gonna flip a switch get out of here civilians Alright, we're gonna flip this switch and it's gonna make those two doors start to kind of like open like this. But uh, unfortunately the one that's moving to the right here is gonna hey, block happening? our exit. So we have to what's get... happening? You have to move, bro. We have to hit this. Run! Get out of the way! Oh! Alright, we made it. Alright. See, because that, that would cover that up. But now we can go down here. But, do we want to go down the ramp, or do we want to drop down? I can't aim down that low. 
I think if I had auto aim on, I might be able to hit these guys. But they're like directly below me. I'm gonna run out of ammo if I keep this up for too long. Let's just go down here and see. Uh, no, I changed my mind. Let's drop onto the boxes and see if we can find a secret area. Can I get onto those boxes? That's gonna be real tricky. Can I do it like this, maybe? There we go. Yeah! Thermal detonators! We'll save the last one. Those last two dudes, or three dudes. Four dudes. There's way more dudes down here than I thought. This is where the elevator would have brought us down, yeah. Oh, hello. Where we have to go. Oh, right, there's a secret area back here. I do remember this one. That's the way we came from. Nothing underneath there. All right. And that should be the end of this level. Uh, what I want to do, I want to save this here because I think the way this game works is kind of weird. Whoops. Okay. And the opening this door should end the level. Ready? There he is. 8088. Leaving so soon? There's that TIE Bomber that we saw earlier. And it's gone. Oh, whenever I need to find you, you're always in some kind of trouble. Jan, what a pleasant surprise! What would you do without me, Kyle? I'd be a content old man. <laughs> Somehow I don't see content or an old man. So much for the relaxing chat. Jan, meet me at the top. I've got to get that disc. All right. So that was it for episode one. Secrets found. Six out of six. We earned a star, which we'll use uh, later on for force powers. Yeah, I see. This is the force power tree kind of like skill system. So unfortunately, it's not like in a uh, Jedi Outcast where you kind of played a gray Jedi and you could unlock powers. Um, uh, you kind of unlock the powers just as you went through the levels. In this, you actually get uh, stars based on how many secret areas you find. And then you can put those into powers and you have to basically either go light or dark, I believe. I think you can, I think you can put points into both, but then at some point it forces you to choose one side or the other. So, I'm pretty sure I already know which side you guys would rather me play. I always lean towards the light side, especially because the light side is, uh, I was going to say is the canon 
like ending because this game actually has two endings a light side ending and a dark side ending and the light side ending is the ending that is what brings you to Jedi Outcast so I'm leaning heavily towards light side just because I want to show you guys the real story of this game but uh, we have many episodes to make up our minds before that happens so let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this uh, video and let me know what you think about the resolution what you think about the audio level what you think about anything just leave a comment it's fun and uh, yeah we'll do level two later so yeah thank you guys for watching Mobius one here and I'll see you then